You know, this year, buy the dip, remember we all used to kind of cheer buy the dip? It's been an unmitigated disaster. I'm telling you, I'm not joking. It's been the worst record, worst year on record to buy the dip. If the market's out over 1%, you think it's going to bounce in the next week? You have gotten your crush. That's all I can tell you. But here's the thing. We all know at the same time, the first rule of successful investing is to buy low. So maybe you don't want to trade it. There are some opportunities out there. Let's find them now with SureVest CEO Rob Luna. Yeah. You know, Rob, uh, and, and to all of the stuff uh, that was mentioned, you know, the, the, you know, the seasonality of it, uh, the pessimism of it, the extreme pessimism of it, uh, you know, if you're a contrarian, uh, I'm not sure what, what makes that two-year roll over, but we know it's extended. You have been sort of, listen, uh, these are just markets, right? You've got to deal with this if you're going to be involved in the market for a long time. Mm -hmm. And so the idea is to pick your spots and to pick the, the right stocks, right? Yeah, but look, and everyone says, Charles, when you get times like this, when there's blood on the street, that's when you want to buy. But as you and I know, that's a lot easier to say than actually do. Like you said, picking bottoms right now, trying to average down has been just absolutely painful for people, and a lot of people are throwing in the towel right now. We could see that in terms of how many people are Googling the stock market. We can see that in terms of retail participation. Look at the VIX, what's going on there. But bottoms, you know, as Paul's saying, are muddy. They are ugly. These are the things that we need to see. And when you're a long-term investor, unfortunately, guys, this is what buying looks like. No one rings a bell, and by the time the news is all good, right. the move's already going to be done. I don't have time to go through all your ideas, but I do want to just real quick, Rob, it seems like you have two categories, right? The Uber, Airbnb, <coughs> yep. Royal Caribbean, Wynn, sort of a consumer-related area. Then, of course, the software stuff, CrowdStrike uh, and Palo Alto yep. Networks software, which I think everyone agrees corporations aren't going to skimp there. Is, is that the yep. one-two punch that you're looking for right now? Yeah, exactly. Those two names, cybersecurity, recession proof. And look, what leads us down 90% of the time leads us out. Consumer discretionary has been absolutely decimated. That's an area if you're a long term investor, you have to buy right here. Yeah, I love it, though, that you guys both put these specific ideas out there. That's why people watch the show. They really want this kind of help.